Uh, our government is lying to us. We know they are, and now they're being caught. We've been praying for the truth. It's being exposed. We'll keep praying. Then on Monday, two days ago, FBI Director Ray again warned of terrorist activity in our nation. 1,800,000 gotaways have occurred at our border. We don't know where they're at. And we know that many of them are a part of terrorist cells. And as Director Ray talked about, now ISIS is a part of that and Hamas. And they are now calling for a strike on U.S. soil like uh, the strike in Israel, October the 7th, some kind of vicious attack. Again, he said it's not if, it's when. We have, a, we have a president and others that are just turning their head. But this is something that I believe we need to take very, very seriously. Also, we know now tens of thousands of children have just disappeared. They're undocumented. We don't know where they're at. And we also know that of these tens of thousands, many are now showing up as slave uh, labor and, of course, in, involved in the sex trafficking that is being permitted. We've got to pray against all of this. And then also CBN uh, reported uh, this morning that there are missionaries that are trapped in, in Haiti. There's a revolt going on there, a government overthrow. The prime minister has uh, resigned, but there's mayhem in the streets. And uh, we have some Christian missionaries that are there that uh, need our prayers. So we'll pray for them uh, as well. And then also I want us to pray tonight concerning the revival that is beginning to stir again on our college campuses. Uh, dozens of, of colleges are experiencing revivals from small groups to large gatherings. And uh, at Liberty University, the 24 hour prayer night, there were lines out the, the door uh, to get into that service. Something stirring, and we're going to pray for that as well. And uh, just encourage you to join with me tonight. Pray your heart. Um, declare your faith and allow Holy Spirit to stir you. While I'm praying, he may remind you of something or talk to you about uh, some event that's taking place. Let's synergize our faith together. Thousands of us now praying in agreement. Lord, we do pray for those missionaries that are in harm's way right now and under threat because of the mayhem that's taking place in Haiti. We pray that angels would surround them and guard them. We pray that a way of escape will come supernaturally. You said that you would supernaturally intervene. We pray we raise our voices together for supernatural intervention. Uh, provide a way of escape and protect those missionaries, we pray in Jesus' name. And we would also pray for all of those who are serving our cause in other nations that are also in difficult times. Protect them and uh, let the angels guard them as well. And we pray that their efforts would uh, bear much fruit on the assignments that you have given to them in Jesus' name. Lord, we continue to ask that you would reveal what is true in our nation and what is a lie. We thank you for pulling the covers off and we are seeing that, that you are exposing the truth. We pray for justice. We are seeing a two-tiered justice system, but we are saying justice will return to this nation and the oppression that the adversary is using will stop in Jesus' name. We believe, Lord, that you are a God of righteousness and justice. 
your truth will prevail and we will not become weary in well-doing. We will not become weary watchmen. We will continue to raise our voice and declare the truth will come forth and it will set us free. We, we pray for Israel and the war with Hamas, that God, you would bring that to an, an end, that you would give Israel victory. And we would also pray that those that are innocent and in harm's way there, you would supernaturally protect and you would get supplies to them. But we pray that this evil attack would uh, be ended and give victory to your people in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray against the terrorism attacks that are planned by ISIS in America. The FBI director has warned us that we are at the highest level, high, higher than we were at 9-11. And it appears that the watchmen of our government are not paying attention, but we are. And we're asking you to intervene. You said if we pray that, Lord, we can lessen the severity of attacks, we can even stop some of them. We can reverse them. But even though there are consequences of evil and consequences to allowing these terrorists to come uh, across our borders, you can speak to our leaders and you can minimize what the enemy is wanting to do. And we pray against an October 7th attack on the United States soil that ISIS is now calling for. Send confusion to their camp. Destroy the efforts of the adversary and give our government uh, wisdom and understanding and guts to stand up and stop this, we pray. We would ask you, Lord, for mercy. Many, many times, Lord, in history, you gave mercy when it was requested and we're asking you for mercy. We pray for the revival that is beginning to spread around our world and what we see happening in uh, many of our college campuses. Dozens of them are now experiencing awakening and revival. You told us a few weeks ago that you would be sending evangelists that would walk those campuses and declare the gospel of Jesus Christ. We pray, Lord, that you would, that you would call them forth and anoint them greatly to declare your gospel, your truth. You said that you would release young prophets, male and female, to declare the prophetic word of the Lord on those campuses. We're praying for that as well, Lord. Raise them up with a bold voice. Open doors of opportunity for them. And we pray that revival would spread and grow around our nation's colleges and around the world. You have said it's time for the kingdom revival. And we pray, God, that even as we move into, uh, in just a couple of weeks, a holy week, when Jesus came to emphasize salvation and purchase it for us, may the worldwide kingdom revival that you have said was to be now and be released or begin now and grow, that Lord, this, these next three weeks would be time when great harvest would come as the gospel is presented Bless your ecclesias and churches as they declare the salvation message. We pray, Lord, for great harvest. We pray for sons and daughters to come back who are prodigal sons and daughters or uh, those that have never, ever confessed Jesus as Lord. You have said, Lord, that we're entering into a supernatural, transitional, reformational era and that it would now accelerate. We're asking you for supernatural power from heaven to come. May the fresh wind and outpourings that you promised, that fresh breath of heaven come upon your church. Breathe, Lord, upon it so that the supernatural begins to manifest all over this world. That 
that, that supernatural power that would declare Jesus is alive, that the Father is here and loves us. Bring the evidence through your power. Let signs, let wonders and miracles begin to roll, the supernatural realm roll throughout the kingdom ecclesia as we pray. We declare it will amp up. It will happen here. We will see signs and wonders. The people that are watching uh, and praying even this night will experience divine healings, supernatural power of God, supernatural deliverance. We're going to see it, Lord, and supernatural interventions. We declare now to them in Jesus' name. We declare notable miracles are going to be seen. Only God miracles, only he could do. And we believe that will happen even this night. Now I'm going to invite you to do what I've asked you to do for the last three weeks or so. I want you to pray for healings and miracles to come all over the world right now. There are people in other nations that are watching this. There are sick and diseased. Jesus came to heal all manner of sickness and disease. And wherever you may be watching, whether it's an incurable disease or whether it is like a testimony uh, that we've heard, whether it's bone or organs that need healed, or maybe it is an emotional thing. Maybe it's discouragement, spirit, soul, and body. Whatever your need is, we are believing that miracles, healings are amping up at levels that are double portion to anything that has ever been seen on this planet. The voice of healing movement, it, it, it had thousands and thousands of documented miracles and healings. I'm believing for a double portion. And so would you agree with me? Pray for this release now as I pray. And as I pray, and as all of us pray, if you need healed of anything, spirit, soul, or body, I encourage you now just begin to receive. Holy Spirit, you are omnipresent all over this world right now. The covenant promise Jesus made to heal us is universal. It's around the world. It is for, for all of us. It is a covenant that has been purchased by the stripes upon King Jesus' back. Healing is the children's bread. And so I'm asking you to activate the release of healings. Let the gift of healing flow all over this planet. Let miracles, the workings of miracles happen even now. Come to those that need healing. We pray, God, right now that you would come into living rooms or into kitchens or in hospital rooms, wherever people may be that are calling on you now and heal them. Let cancer be removed from bodies. We expect thousands to be healed of cancer. We rebuke it. It's demonic and we bind it in Jesus name. Let let bones, structure, skeletal issues be healed, joints be healed, paralysis be healed. Lord, we agree together that the promise that you have made will flow. We pray, God, for tumors to be removed from bodies. We pray, God, for lungs to begin to function normally all over this world. We pray in Jesus' name. We pray, Lord, for paralysis to leave so that uh, those that have been stricken with a stroke and uh, there is paralysis in a limb, that, that there would be supernatural restoration and they be healed. Let the cripples walk and run to the testimony that Jesus is alive. We pray, God, for any stomach issues, stomach disorders, intestinal issues, to be healed, we pray. We pray, God, that the promise that you have made would fall like rain all over this planet tonight. Fall like rain upon your people. Fall upon those that are desperate. Uh, I agree together with them 
that the power of the living God flows like it did with the woman with the issue of blood for 12 years. Virtue flow, the virtue, the power of the living God. Receive it where you are. The power of the living God flow to you. Receive it into your life. Believe for transformative change. Relieve, believe for supernatural turnaround. Believe for supernatural intervention. God is no respecter of persons. If he ever healed anyone, he will heal you. It is his will. We don't have to get him to want to. 2,000 plus years ago, he went to the whipping post. He took stripes on his back. Blood flowed and purchased a covenant of divine healing. It is for you. In Jesus' name, let it, let it flow into you. Receive it. We bind spirits of infirmity, spirits of sickness or disease that are from hell. We bind it in Jesus' name. We cast it from bodies and we command the healing power of Jesus to flow and make you whole in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Keep praying with me concerning signs, wonders, and miracles. We've got to believe for the double portion. And if, you're, if you receive that healing, again, write us the testimony and we'll testify concerning what God has done. It just builds our faith. I love to hear testimonies. Um, it's great to hear them from the scriptures. And I do read the scriptures and I love every miracle that happened there. But let's hear present day miracles. Amen. Here's our decrees tonight from the first angel book. The third great awakening of King Jesus, we decree, has begun. It's begun in this nation, this region, and will now accelerate all over the world. And it will be marked with signs, wonders, and miracles, and divine healings. We decree a new Jesus movement begins greater than the one in the charismatic movement. And uh, that the young generation will receive the outpourings of power from heaven as Joel chapter 2 and Acts chapter 2 describes. We declare that angels will be sent to assist on college campuses and in this worldwide revival. We agree with your words, Lord, that will re revival will roll through every nation, all continents in Jesus' name. We decree the New Testament church will now emerge from the culture to rule and to reign with Christ. And we decree we will be filled and refilled with the Holy Spirit and power from heaven in Jesus name. Amen. Thank you for praying with me tonight. I do appreciate that. Keep praying, keep decreeing, keep believing, and we will talk to you more. Sunday morning. Bless you.